hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is Sama. so in today's video i want to talk about uh, what has been going on and people have been saying things about the fact that uh, uh, Pauline Neche did not attend uh, uh, Osinachi's uh, burial. For anyone that does not know, Osinachi is a gospel singer. She was singing in one of the mega churches in Nigeria and uh, he was uh, said to be a lead singer in that church. Very popular for one particular song of hers or one of the singing she did that went viral. So um, not too long ago, there was a lot of stories on social media about her. Guys, give me a second. I always like to let people that do not know what i'm talking about no if not they're going to be lost in the in the story so because i've come to realize and appreciate the fact that not everybody that is watching me is a nigerian there are a lot of non-nigerians that actually watch me so basically uh, not too long ago she was all over the news the allegation was that the husband was not very nice to her and he was physical with her and um, she ended up in hospital and they said there was a blood clot or whatever on the chest and Apparently, it seems they said, I'm just putting out whatever that is out there, that the friend of hers have said that she told her, if I'm not mistaken, that something about um, the husband kicked her on the chest, okay? So, and um, it went viral. When her life ended, a lot of people that uh, knew her in real life that have known that the husband was not very nice became very vocal to let the world know or let people know what the woman was going through. And her family have come up to speak up about what they um, knew she was going through in that marriage. That they've tried to get her away from that marriage, she decided to stay. One of her sisters said in an interview that um, um, this woman that had lost her life, Osinachi is her name by the way, that she said that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So she stayed in her marriage and believed that if she continued to be a good wife, because I use that in quote, because I think we are beginning to misunderstand Understand the meaning of good wife. A good wife does not mean that you have to uh, waste your life in the name of marriage. So um, she stayed in it and unfortunately her life uh, ended in it, right? It's a different topic altogether if we're going to speak about how much should a woman take or a man even because some men, let's be honest, some men are the one going through such things in their marriages. So that can be a topic on its own. And uh, so this video then is about the fact that the pastor of the mega church that she attends um, you know when her life ended there was an opera because uh, the church basically didn't say anything about it they carried on like nothing her life ended I think on the Friday or something like that two days later they went to church and it's like not even a mention and some people said you know when I made a video here to address it some people said oh that is the way the church is they don't talk about uh, people's exit and then i can bet you they'll talk about people being born right uh, okay let me because if i start talking there's so much to say so eventually the burial has happened and the pastor was not there he did not officiate he was not there his presence was you know and especially for the fact that this is a story that went viral you know people were expecting let me put it like that that for the pastor of the church she was going to that she had been in that church for like basically ever you know would have at least go there to be with her family so people have said oh you know the church does not do this i've seen that same pastor and another person's burial there was another pastor that his life ended at the pulpit and paul and was at that burial him and his wife they were there for anyone that does, actually does not know, the pastor's name is uh, Paul Eneche. And uh, something else I need to say, because I find that sometimes when I make a video about a pastor, that the pastor happens not to be from my tribe. You people will say, oh, you're talking about him because he's not from your tribe. So people don't realize not everybody practices tribalism. The truth is the truth. Like the truth has no color, no tribe, no whatever. But, well, thank God, Paul Eneche, Abi Eneche is Igbo name, Nabi. Uh -huh. He's Igbo man, so people cannot say you're talking about him because he's not from your tribe or whatever. So that said, so coming to the point that he did not attend, people like, oh, why did he not attend? Da -da 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 -da. So people have tried to say, you know, because the church does not, uh, they don't talk about death or they don't talk about whatever. Like I said, I've seen him attend another person's burial. And so that point does not, uh, it does not work in this case. But at the same time, I always ask people, is the Bible no longer the dictionary for our Christian faith? Is the Bible no longer the book we consult to decide what we should practice as Christians? Is the Bible no longer the standard? Did the Bible not say, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith? Is it now looking unto your pastors? If what your pastor is doing is not from the Bible, is he doing right? Is your pastor now the one to set a standard? Because, you know, some people feel like, hey, well, is the way the church, is the church doctrine, is the church doctrine going to be bigger than the Bible itself? Tell 
me how that can be justified. The Bible says that you should rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn. I'm saying this now for those that say, you know, it's a church doctrine, they don't talk about exit, they don't talk about death, they don't talk about this, blah, blah, blah. but they will happily present and say a child dedication, a child has been born, or whatever, and then somebody leaves this world. Let me tell you, people will keep coming into this world and people will keep living. It is as natural as life gets. This is nature. Forget the Bible people exiting early or exiting late, whatever. In the Bible, they go there, they, they went to burials. You understand? It says, rejoice. The Bible, what about, I keep saying, what about that Bible that says you should rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn? Yes, ah, woman just gave birth to a baby. Oh, go there and do any ceremony with them and rejoice with them. Oh, somebody is getting married. Go there and rejoice with them. Somebody is celebrating something joyful. Hallelujah. Go there and rejoice with them. Unfortunately, somebody's life ended and they need to be buried. Mourn with them. Now the Bible talk can not be me. You know, I keep saying it. You see, when I say something that is from my own mouth, I'll say, ah, my opinion, no, my opinion. But when I'm telling you something that is in the Bible, it's not my opinion. I'm telling you what is in the Bible. The choice to pick and choose whatever you want to do is yours. But always bear it in mind. Don't be saying something like I said. It is the Bible that says you should rejoice with those that rejoice and mourn with those that mourn. Don't be me talking. My Bible, I'm only quoting it. So where is that practice of mourning with those that mourn? At the same time, something else I want to tell us or remind us. Because some people may know, but they need to be reminded. Or some people do not know, we need to tell them. You know, I've always talked about it that you see a lot of churches. Some people don't want to hear this truth. They are businesses of pastors building empires for their generations unborn. Okay, you say they don't celebrate burial. I've said it before. But when it is a pastor that dies, you will see how big the burial ceremony would be. Double standard in the house of God. Even the Bible says that there will be no more Jews and Gentiles. No more, uh, uh, no more free and slaves. No more male and female. Because we all one in Christ Jesus. That's what the Bible says. But yet, some people are slaves to their pastors. When the Bible says we are all one. When Jesus came, he came. The Bible says that he dwelled among us. He did not come to dwell above us. He was with his disciples. He mingled with people. He was part of them. He didn't come to make everybody feel like you were subordinate. Abi, eh? He came and he humbled himself. He did not create a different standard. Something else I want to say. People that carry churches on their heads. Carry, I am a member of this church. My daddy in the Lord. My this, my that. There are churches that have made people leave their husbands, leave their wives, abandon their fathers and mothers, abandon their village people, abandon everything and say the church is your new family. Your village people are trying to kill you. You know that your uncle, which one? That your uncle that is not too tall, is not too short. You know that one is not too yellow, not too black. When they will not do the tumbom tumbom, because obviously one uncle must uh, match that description. You will not say, yes, that uncle is the one holding you back in life. Is the one suppressing your progress. That your uncle, don't talk to him anymore. You know, your whole family have been ganging up against you in the spirit realm. People will abandon villagers, uncles, aunties, fathers. Mothers, brothers, sisters, children, husband, wives, and saying a church then carry for head. And then something like this happens. And not even something like this. A lot of situations that you will call Tobaya or Wono Mumi. When push comes to shove. When the need arises, the people that have made you to turn your back against everybody in your life may not be there for you. At least that's one of the lessons for us to learn from this. Was a lead singer. She sing duet with uh, Paul This song, she's singing, he's singing, and all of those things. And her exit has been handled. This, I'm sorry from what I'm seeing. I may be wrong. That's why I, you see what I see the difference now. When I'm trying to make sure I'm speaking about from my personal opinion, from what I've seen, I do not sense. I do not feel any compassion. I do not feel like you know even the speech he made when the, he was being dragged on social media. I made a video which I said he made that speech. To clear his name. The speech was not about uh, Wosinachi. The speech was all about him and to address his critics. 
Come and listen. See if you are miserable or if you are sad with your life, whatever. They will, I can't remember. I can't be going back to all of that. I'll crown it all with this. What's in Achi's children? Apparently, from the report, is that they are struggling. The twin sister came out and said that she's the one carrying the load. They are struggling. And you're wondering. What's in Achi was a singer in a mega church. And she was trying to stay at the right standard. She was making sure she remains in the choir. She was making sure whatever. She didn't want anybody to know that there was turmoil in her marriage. At the end of the day, she's gone, left her children. The husband is uh, locked up. And who is suffering? Her children. Where is that church that she worked so hard to be part of? Where is that church that she spent her life being a member of the choir and the, all of those things? Singing duet with uh, Pauline Nature and everything. Now, her children are suffering. Where are those people now? Where is the church to rise up and help the poor and the needy among them? Why would those children be hungry when the church obviously knows that this woman's life has ended? Her husband is there locked up. Where is the church to be there for those children? What the Bible says about the fatherless and orphans? Because those children are like fatherless and motherless children right now. Their mother is gone and their father is locked up. Where is the church to play the role the Bible tells the church to play in situations like this? Are we practicing Christianity according to what the Bible says? Or have we designed it the way that suits us and our agendas? This is my question I'm asking you. Because some people say, someone is attacking pastor. Tell me now, am I saying something that's incorrect? If it's incorrect, it's okay. Leave it in the comment section below. Somebody left the comment the other was replying and said, Oh, someone, I'm sorry, I'm going to disagree. Please disagree. Don't ever feel like whatever I say is here and amen. Who am I? Am I God? I'm not God. I always say when I leave my opinion, I say, ah, this is my opinion. No, whatever your opinion is, leave in the comment section below. I don't know it all. It is what I know that I'm sharing. And we can rub minds. And I always do my best to try to reply to people so we can educate each other. Nobody knows it all. But I'm showing you guys, according to Bible standards, tell me, is this thing being done right? But let me tell you guys, I've come to realize that with a lot of Nigerians, I'm going to, it's not all. Because I've found some people that be watching my videos, I want to be like, ah, oh, someone, you have been saying this thing for a long time. Oh, it's today that I really understand what you have been saying. Uh -huh. Even the Bible talk and say that uh, God is happy about even one soul that is one. He talk about there's the parable of the lost sheep that will leave 99 and go and be looking for that one. You know what some people say? Why do you reply to negative comment or something like that and uh, not the positive comment? If, if I make a video and somebody say, ah, so my, what you're saying is true, according to uh, what happened in 1961, this, 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 the maximum I'll do click like to agree with that person. So there's nothing there to try to open the person's eyes because the person already knows it. That is the all people that don't get the message are the 99. That one lost sheep that will come and be saying, eh, ah, 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 or whatever. They are the ones you reach out to them because the hope is that maybe this lost sheep, you can pull them back. But some people are more than lost. So when you talk that I no work, you leave, you put prayer and leave the rest to God. That is what it is when you see that in the comment section I may spend time addressing some of those people. They are the lost sheep. And when you see me trying to help them, please join me to help them. Let's save the lost sheep. I really hope I'm making sense. And I'm going to say this. That's one thing that came to my mind this morning before I even started this video. I say to myself, God knows my heart and I'm speaking from, you know, a, a good place, right? I'm seeing the truth that a lot of people do not seem to see. But some people are catching up small, small. But at the same time, I always say to myself that when generations, the future generations come and they see a lot of the berries, berries in of their ancestors, forefathers, because one day we'll be ancestors. Don't forget, tell yourself the truth, we'll not be here forever. We we'll only pray for long life. One day we too will be people's ancestors. When the generations will come and they see the berry berries in, every day I say to myself, I thank God that I will not be counted among the berry berries. I will not be counted among, you know, when they are talking about the Mumurizim. I will not be counted among. At least they will say, ah, she tried though. She has been speaking since. At least. So, there was somebody I left a comment. I, I left a, a reply to their comment. I said, don't worry. You may not get my message, but maybe your future generation will get my message. So, about this Pauline are not going to her burial, no addressing it, not really, you know, this is how I feel about it. There are a lot of people, you, you, the way you carry your pastors on your head, you don't matter to them as much as you think they, or the way you carry them in, their, in your heads. It's time for you to begin to reevaluate. Do you know who loves you forever and ever? My God, oh, not your pastor. Time to bring your focus to what Christianity is truly about. A lot of people have missed it. Don't be one of them. That's how I feel about this all. Um, 
as always this is my opinion you're free to leave your opinions in the comment section below and with that i'm going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye